Would you like to learn about security careers that are not hands-on, can't be replaced AI, and for the most part are the highest paying security careers? If so, this video is for you. My name's Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with approximately 25 years experience, and I've held all architecture roles like network architect, security architect, cloud architect. And today we're gonna talk about some of the best security careers that are not hands-on and can't be replaced by AI. Now, the careers we're gonna talk about in this video, for the most part, have special requirements of the user. And we'll talk about what those things are. And those are the reasons we cannot be replaced by AI. Every one of the roles we're gonna talk about is going to have to require some degree of consultation, communication and collaboration across teams, leading large numbers of people, managing vendors, uh, comparing industry regulations, put the possible solutions and their applicability to a business, evaluating some form of a trade-off. And all of this will require lots of analysis, lots of interpersonal communication and lots of leadership and all the things that can't be done by AI. So these are careers with a huge future. Now there is a massive shortage of cybersecurity careers in all levels, and I'm gonna talk about my favorite. The first career that I'm gonna start with is the security architect role. I love this role, I've held this role, I've trained countless others for this role, and once they're working in the security architect roles, they love it. So the security architect is more of an executive role that combines technical knowledge with business ex business expertise. And the key role of the security architect is we're designing systems to secure our client's business and uh, protect the organization's assets. So we typically design security frameworks. Uh, we typically give security presentations. We typically collaborate with stakeholders, for example, uh, deliver a large number of sales presentations, write uh, thought leadership documentation, uh, write architectural blueprints, uh, evaluate technology, evaluate trade-offs, create security policies, incident response procedures, that sort of thing. Now, the security architect has an average pay of about $222,000 a year with a range of say 176 to 284 per K per year on average. I've seen many, I know many security architects earning far more than that, but it is a role that's incredibly in demand. There's no configuration, no touching to the technology, no configuring, it's designing a security strategy. Now, the next great high paying role where you don't have to touch the tech, you don't have to code, you don't have to configure is a security program manager role. Now, this is a role that oversees uh, planning the organization, the cybersecurity budget, uh, for example, uh, the execution of everything that's necessary, uh, the pulls the plan to, to run that security program. It coordinates teams, it tracks metrics, it's leadership role. Um, making sure you've got the right people, the training's there, the staffing is there, and all these other things that are necessary, uh, along with a strategy of, of protecting the organization. So a lot of people management, a lot of strategy here, and of course, that's why you see another good salary with an average pay of about $170,000 per year with a pay range of 139 to 216. And every one of these salaries will include uh, a screenshot of where I got it from Glassdoor. I got it today, and these are as of today's salaries as of the time we made this video, which is May 2025. So the next pay is obviously going to have a fairly good salary, and you'll understand why. It's the Chief Information Security Officer. Now, this is effectively the Chief Security Architect. Now, this person is the Chief Strategist. They assess the organization's risk appetite, and they create strategic plans and blueprints. The CISO gets all the information from the security architects, the cloud security architects, the security solutions architects. And they're going to be as security engineers and others are going to be advising the chief information security officer. And they're going to be the person that has the go, no go decision on security environments. So this is an executive, lots of business acumen, lots of executive presence, lots of leadership because they have to be able to lead large teams. And that role pays an average pay of $309,000 per year with a pay range of two forty-four dollars to $400,000 a year. You can also see much higher in this position as well. And it's obviously one of our favorite. 
And you see a lot of security architects build their business acumen, their leadership skills, their executive presence, and they move into these roles. And that's why I've always been a fan of business acumen training, leadership training, executive training. And that's why I train so many architects in these skills to move into those CIO, CISO type roles. Now, the next role is out, not going to be as high paying, but it still fairly pays well. And that's going to be more of a compliance manager. And that's going to be someone that's focused on policies, conducting audits, conducting assessments. For example, like an uh, uh, ISO 27001 assessment or a PCI DSS kind of assessment. Anything that needs regulatory requirements. Now, this is going to be the effective being counter that's back there checking things, knows the rules, knows the regulations. Sometimes they're an attorney, sometimes they're not. You typically see an average pay of about 156 for this with a pay range of 124 to 200. It's a very important role, but, uh, you know, people typically don't want to spend as much money on protection as they do strategy. So that's why it's typically less. Now, this next role pays off fairly well. And it's a chief privacy officer, and it pays well because it's an executive, which means lots of business acumen, lots of leadership skills, lots of executive presence, the ability to speak to the board when necessary. Uh, so lots of leadership here. And that's why the chief privacy officer typically earns about $338,000 a year with an average range of, say, two fifty-seven dollars to four fifty-five. dollars now, this is someone with an expert on privacy knowledge, an expert on privacy regulations, an expert typically on other things that would be necessary to secure information systems. So another big role. Now, the last role we're going to talk about is something that's pretty hard to define. It's a security consultant. And uh, a security consultant is someone that provides strategic guidance in some way to an organization based on an area of risk management, uh, best practices, program maturity, something to that effect. Now, again, it's not a technical role, and that, but the key is consulting can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but typically speaking, it's an advisor. An architect is an advisor, but this is a type of an advisor, and because you see consultancy being used for a lot, you're typically dealing with a pay range of about 95 to about 174, according to Glassdoor as of today. So, you know, we're talking about some pretty good roles here. Now, when you look at these roles, I particularly like the security architect and cloud security architect, because not only do they have an average pay of about $222,000 a year, but they can easily move into much higher paying roles like the chief information security officer. Add more business acumen, more leadership, add more executive presence, and all of a sudden your security architect is now the chief information security officer. So those are, I typically like that role. I've trained people for that role. I love the role. Now, uh, then we talked about the chief information security officer. Now, I talked about compliance managers as a, one of the better opportunities. I also talked about privacy officers and chief, more specifically, chief privacy officers, as well as security consultants. Now, if you'd like to become a security architect or a cloud security architect or an AI architect or an enterprise architect or a network architect or pretty much any other kind of architect, uh, not only are we an architecture institute, but we hold a free architecture uh, webinar once a week where we'll go over the architect role. We'll talk about what we do as architects, the skills you need in various architecture roles, how to stand out and get hired. And it's completely free. This uh, webinar is on Zoom. Uh, there are two-hour webinars. You can register by going to the description of this video on this webinar. Not only will we talk about those things, but we'll answer any questions you have in any way we can to assist you in your career and it's all free. So register, it's in the description of this video. While you're looking in the description of this video, we have free things to help you. Guides on winning the interview, guides on being, say, a cloud architect or an enterprise architect, what have you, guides on how to earn more in your technology career, and they're all free. So sign up and get them emailed to you. It takes about 15 minutes to get them once uh, you sign up because uh, our system's staggered, but uh, we'll send them to you. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your security architect career, cloud architect career, AI architect career, or any other architecture career. Hope to see you in a webinar or another video. Take care.